This is Propagator News, and I'm Chris Walters. If you know another man claiming to be Chris Walters, please report him to the authorities immediately. You watching me, watching you, watching Propagator. Today's news is brought to you by Peace Brand Psychiatric Medication. Peace, legal almost anywhere in South America. Hi, I fell down a well. Is your child at risk? Experts say that Chihuahua attacks are on the rise. I'm a cyborg. Is your child at risk? Experts say that arbitrary statistics are on the rise. I need a battery for my brain. And now, a word from our sponsor. I love my lifestyle. My girlfriend works hard, and our drywall installation business is raking in the cash. I'd do anything for my asbestos certified lesbian workers. But sometimes I find myself thinking about cocks. I mean, Jesus. And feeling deep, deep guilt. That's why I asked my Christian reparative therapist if Purity brand medication is right for me. And when she said no, I bought it anyways. Trying the Purity in my church's pharmaceutical cupboard is what made me crave cock to begin with. Purity from the makers of peace. It's patented formula targets and eliminates unconscious memories of childhood conflict so you can stop being angry at mommy and start fucking the way God intended. Holy shit. Jesus is so fucking hot. Moving to international news. The tiny European nation of San Marino, population 31,000, has bought new patio furniture and a nice set of towels. Congratulations, guys. I'm sure it looks great by the pool. Are you child be risked? Big smarty heads say ungood grammar get talked more. Is television still sexist? Up next, we let the bimbos have their say. Hello, humans. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. This is Doom Raider. We're counting down the top 10 ways your world could end in the 21st century and rating them up to five stars each in several categories. Impendency. How soon could it happen? Probability. How likely is it to occur? Totality. How completely would mankind be destroyed? Rising to number eight, evolution. You probably think of evolution as a positive thing. But the force of nature that got you here may leave you behind someday. Birds evolved from dinosaurs, but you wouldn't look at a chicken and say, It's so nice the dinosaurs survived. Your future descendants may be so different physically, psychologically, or culturally, that nothing resembling humanity remained. They could even evolve into new forms of pure thought or energy. Then again, evolution does not always mean better and smarter. Human intelligence could turn out to be an evolutionary fad. Changes like these normally take a long time, but today, humanity is hard at work taking evolution into their own hands. Through genetic engineering, drugs, hormones and other chemicals, increasingly advanced prosthetics, including neural interfaces and eventually, nanotechnology. As the rate of technological change increases, will the definition of human be reinterpreted or discarded? And what if things don't quite go according to plan? It's not all about humans, either. Evolution makes germs deadlier, more contagious, and more resistant to antibiotics. Insects adapt to pesticides, endangering world food supplies. Plants will learn to release a neurotoxin that makes people commit suicide. Just kidding. That would never happen. Sorry. The point is, in evolution the only constant is change. That means you can never be sure what new terrors lie ahead. So please, continue reading. And please tune in again for more Doom Raider. Have a nice day. Goodbye. This has been Propagator News. I hope you're satisfied.